welcome to another episode of Arizona Living. Today, we are gonna show you the city of Phoenix. Finally. Stay tuned. So I wanna introduce you guys to two of my friends, Gabby and Janet. They're actually, well, they were subscribers and they contacted me and asked if you know they wanted to, to do some sort of collaboration so now they're actually sponsors of the show so we're here with them today and they're going to give us a whole tour of phoenix much better than i could by myself because you know i'm kind of a noob i just moved here seven years ago so janet tell the audience a little bit about yourself hey everyone i'm janet and this is my sister gabby and we are the a team with my home group real estate and we're sisters and we work together throughout the entire valley so um, Arizona is a growing state uh, we're in Maricopa County uh, so obviously that's part of Phoenix and right now we're standing in central Phoenix here with Sam and we're gonna give you a tour of the city so where are we so right now we're, we're standing in front of the Talking Stick Resort Arena this is where Phoenix Suns play and we hold concerts uh, we are in the Phoenix of downtown so we're right in central Phoenix when I first saw the mascot of the Suns, my first impression was, uh-oh. So as usual, I got in trouble. I was asked to move to the sidewalk. But what I was about to say was, that's the mascot of the Phoenix Suns, it's a gorilla. And when I first saw it, I was like, why would a gorilla be the mascot of the Phoenix Suns? That makes no sense. Because all the teams here have different mascots related to hell, like pitchforks and stuff, because it's so hot. So what I found out was some guy happened to be like a singing telegram dude and he was wearing that costume. He went to a game in his costume. The fans loved it. He ended up on the court and the team adopted him as their mascot. And that was the light rail. Do you want to know why it's so noisy? Downtown Phoenix is actually building the first supermarket. So there's a lot of construction downtown. So if we turn around, <laughs> this is the price of first supermarket ever. It will be open December 2019. So there's a lot of construction downtown and a lot of growth throughout the valley. So we are on Central and First Street between First and Second. First supermarket in Central Phoenix. Well, downtown. So wait, turn around. Turn around. So wait, what have the people been doing since there's no, you know, fries here? For you guys who don't know, Fries is a big supermarket here, kind of like Bashes. Where have they been eating? Where have they been getting their food so far? People drive. <laughs> they drive a lot. So uh, I think the closest one is within like three or four miles from actually downtown. But as you can see, there's a lot of luxury apartments and condos in the area. So everyone's really excited about having, having the actually, you know, the actual first supermarket. And it's going to be um, underground. So it's going to be really cool. And allegedly, Fry's is going to open up a location across the street from my house. So anyone from Fry's, listen up. Gilbert, get on it. Wait a minute. That's going to be an underground Fry's? Yes, it's under, underground. And on the top, they're building luxury apartments. So On top of this structure right here, you're telling me in the basement is going to be Fry's and upstairs are going to be luxury apartments. Yes. Wow. Like, like the whole foods that you see mainly in big cities like downtown LA. Yeah, downtown LA, downtown San Diego, all those have like the same concept. So we're kind of, you know, following up. There's so much growth in Phoenix, so you'll see a lot of change in the next couple of years. All right, this is my first time trying this dash cam thing and it seems to be shaking way too much. I don't like it. I'm going back to the boot like stick. See, I bought this thing to keep the phone on to stabilize it so I wouldn't have to hold it. Way too boot like. Way too boot like, even for the mobile boot like studio. So, the, it's only 86 right now, but my phone already told me that flash is disabled because it needs to cool down. And this, guys, is downtown Phoenix. That's Lewis Roca, a law firm. Don't ask me how I know that. EOS Gym. I belong to an EOS. 
I never go, but I have a membership. As with any big city, there's always construction. Non-stop construction. I'm following the, uh, the local. She turned on left, so I turned on left. I don't know if it was legal or not. And I gotta pay attention, because this is very narrow. All right, guys, this is your downtown cityscape. This is where everything happens throughout the day and nightlife. So we have here, um, we have fitness centers, we have Starbucks, we have live comedy, we have gyms, and lots of places to grab lunch and dinner here. As you can see, it's a very popular area. Behind us, they're already setting up for an event. I don't know what it is, but there's always something going on, going on downtown. Yeah. So, I see the stand up. I saw the gym on the way here. There. Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, Orange Theory. This bowling place is called Lucky Strike. It's expensive as hell. There's CVS, which does validating for parking. Thank you, CVS. Right there. And there's a pokey place. And what's that on the corner? Starbucks. Favorite cacti. Oh, Rory would love these. Oh my goodness. All right, for all you alcoholics, come to Phoenix. <laughs> and there's the gym I told you guys I never go to. You know it's official. The logo of downtown Phoenix. Who knew it? There even was a logo for downtown Phoenix. Love where you live. Now you know it's a real city when there are escalators. Here's a different view. You think if I were to jump, I would make it? I don't know. Check out the views. We're on this uh, walkway thingy. Pretty cool. Oh, that's cute. Look, there's cacti over there on top of that thing. So I was telling Gabby that I did stand up and she doesn't believe me. We came too early, they're closed, but this is the outside of Lucky Strike. We can't go in there now, but let me show you some pictures I found online as to what it looks like. Isn't that pretty? It's expensive. They feed you and everything. There are some skyscrapers out there. They're kind of small though, like 20 stories, but at least it's something. Yes, we're not all desert. <laughs> so you don't have to buy nothing there and they just still validate it and you, don't, you get free parking. Two hours. Two hours free parking, you heard it here. So this concludes another edition of Arizona Living. Hope you liked the special tour of Phoenix downtown. We have our special guests, Gabby and Janet. Please like, subscribe, and let us know below where in downtown is your favorite spot. Till next time.